Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here at Austria Arms Action Days in Deutsch Wagram, Austria at the Opus booth. We're looking at the Opus Venator, which many of you saw at IWA. This gun kind of stole the show. You're looking at a reverse configured gun, I guess for lack of a better term, where you've got the barrel underneath the recoil spring, the recoil rod, super low bore axis, incredible trigger. Again, this was a showstopper at IWA. This is what everyone was talking about, and we've got some updates. So tell me what's new with the Opus. Yes, we got a lot of feedback at the IWA about ergonomics, uh, about the barrel. So we didn't stop improving it. What we have now implemented in the gun, the barrel is fitted in the front. So it's more precise. I can show you the EVA prototype. You can see the difference here. We got the barrel. It's not fitted in. It's between slide and grip. But here now we implemented a part which will lead the barrel to stay precise even more. You can feel it immediately when you shoot this or this. You, you feel it immediately. Give us a little uh, what I call the maraca test. Do you know what a maraca is? Are you familiar? It's mm. the, you know, it looks like this. It's the, like, Spanish. Ah, like, yeah, yeah. It's there, the, see, yeah, everyone. It, this was like a critique. You can hear it. This is not good for, <laughs> a, for a premium gun and now. You hear nothing. It passes the Maraca test. Yeah, it, it, See, it, it transcends language. It really does. So for us, it's really important to get feedback at EVA. We got incredible feedback, good critics, and we, we will go on and improve this. Do you know about when uh, you're planning on releasing this? Yes, in December, the first 300 pieces as planned and as told at IWA, yeah. How sure are you that that's going to happen? A lot of people say it's going to happen on this date and then it never does. Oh, let's say uh, I'm sure 90%. Okay. So if it's not 300, it will be 250 and in January the other 50, but it will happen. Okay. Yeah, so the serial production is ongoing. We, we have all the CNC stuff done. So it's just ready to start. We will start producing it in June. Okay. And America. We've got a lot of U.S.-based viewers. Of course, we're based in the United States. When are we going to see this, if ever? It's planned. For sure, America is the main market. What is the MSRP going to be in Europe? 4,250 euro for the Veneta mechanical version. And then you can upgrade it to the Opus Vision, which will come next year, summer. And that one's got the uh, like the digital readout in the back. Okay, yes, we've so got one the, here. This is the newest prototype. We got our electronics yesterday, so it was a night shift mm -hmm. for today. But show the camera there. Yeah, and explain that again. It's basically the Opus Venator, where you can upgrade your side rail to a digital version, and you have some functions to it, like. You can see how many rounds you have in the magazine. I forgot the knob, so <laughs> I have a tool to switch the functions. You can see the barrel temperature. It's quite cold today, 70 degrees. Mm -hmm. The total shots fired over the system, over lifetime, and the battery. What we have now uh, also a critique or a good input from Eva was people hate the USB-C. We have changed it to a magnetic charging so it's waterproof. I'm okay with USB-C because yeah. if I want to charge this at the airport, I want to be able to, you know, <laughs> yeah, just pull just it out and plug it in at, at any other charger. Yeah. Well, this is exciting. Thank you for speaking with me about it. I understand it's at the range. We are going to shoot it. We're actually going to have a full review of it from this trip on TFB TV, but you guys are doing some exciting stuff. We're appreciative of that. And guys, we're appreciative of you watching our content. Make sure you stay tuned for more from Austria Arms here at Action Days. Take care.